Well, folks, you might want to stop rolling your fat doobies around because we got a lot of disasters tonight, okay? Drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're brand new for the fast news because coming in at our number 13 spot, our first story is the follow-up to that UFO story. Apparently, even Romania has now scrambled fighter jets after detecting suspicious weather balloons in its airspace, ladies and gentlemen. And a lot of people are suspect because even China, 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 number one. Even China has said that they also spotted a UFO in their airspace. We got U.S. shooting down a bunch of them. Even Russia claimed that they shot down another one. There's a lot of bizarre stuff happening right now. So make sure you guys are hiding your wife and uh, put your kids to bed, guys. And we also got this clip that is going semi-viral there on the back of the truck. It seems like that it was carrying a UFO. I covered this clip and we got a ton of clips going around that I covered on the second channel on Scary X. It may or may not be linked with the current UFO situation. But if you want to be in the loose, definitely check that out. And a lot of you are also sharing these clips. This is apparently in Ohio. This is not a UFO, this is in Ohio, and uh, I cannot be saying these words on YouTube, cut G. We also had Activision coming out by saying that imagine the disrespect of getting taken out by someone on one of those things, and Charlie until quickly responded by saying that imagine the disrespect of not giving multiplayer more content after charging $70 for it. Dial, okay, dial! Charlie, it's like you really doing that, my guy? Quickly after we had the homie blame truth with a baddie in his profile picture. Looks like that the homie is not single anymore. And maybe going forward, he will be less toxic. But there are no signs of him slowing down either. Cut G, he said that I love this attitude, uh, Switch, after only a few months. And he apparently caught Charlie until with their pants down. Where Charlie until says that I hope everyone sees why we are super confident and excited about the future of Call of Duty. No, we are not paid by Activision. Never have. Happen. But ladies and gentlemen, this following story might be a shocker for the Hustle University members out there. The, the top G, mate, the top G. Because this situation is truly wild. Apparently, the prosecutors are alleging that Andrew Tate and his brother paid for victims. I cannot be saying these words uh, here on the YouTube, guys. Uh, paid for the implants to make her more attractive on OnlyFans. I mean, damn, man. La hola wa la kuwata, bro. <laughs> That is insane, bro. And a lot of you are sitting back and a lot of you are saying that Skizzle, I'm a stud muffin. I'm not sure what this means. Can you explain that in gaming terms? Come on, man. Stop capping. You know what that means, okay? Apparently, the situation here is that in gaming terms, Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate paid for her 60 FPS update. So they gave her that 60 FPS update, apparently. It was also alleged that the woman was forcibly beaten and tortured by one of Tate's angels, uh, toxic angels, forcing her to outstretch her arm as it stretched out the scars from that cosmetic surgery. The victim filed Tate's operation and the angels attempted to make them pay back the cost of the operation, according to the prosecutors. Some people are believing that this is a matrix attack. Other people are not believing this. I want to know what you think on the situation. Also, real quick, there was a man who got arrested for training his dog to throw bricks at people ringing his doorbell. And if you happen to be the guy that was underneath, you need Morgan and Morgan. If you're ever injured or you know someone who's injured and you do not know where to start, Morgan and Morgan is easy. When you're injured in an accident, hiring an attorney is one of the first things you should do. And with Morgan and Morgan, submitting a claim is super easy. More than 3 million people have trusted Morgan and Morgan when they were injured in an accident. And the best part is that they do not charge you unless they win the kiss for you. <gasps> if you're ever injured in a car accident or at your workplace, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in 8 clicks or less without having to leave your couch. That's right, for more information, you can check out ForThePeople.com or dial pound law. That's 5 to 9 on your cell phone or you can check out the top pinned comment below as well. But PlayStation Hogwarts Legacy House Cup is now open for PS5 users to earn rewards. And essentially, they're running this giveaway, the sweepstakes, and if you win, you can get Hogwarts Legacy Collector's Edition for PS5 and a Sony Pony 5, the PlayStation 5 disc console. There are also House Cup Avatar, Crest Avatar Bundle, Magical Beast Avatar, and the Sorting Hat Avatar. And apparently, we are also getting Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the defective edition. <laughs> it's gonna be Brad. coming out on Epic Game Store tomorrow. Yep, uh, GG's Rockstar Games. We love to see it, man. Another defective edition. And this following story can get a massive streamer sued for millions and millions of dollars. So check this out, right? In my last gaming news video, I covered the story, which you can definitely check it out. 
after this one, but apparently the streamer in question is Aiden Ross. He went over on record and said that Twitch is trying to silence him, and then he took the deal of $150 million allegedly from Kick, and he started streaming there, but he then started streaming Super Bowl, to which a lawyer said this. Roll it. Hey Jake, attorney Tom here. So I saw last night a couple of big streamers rebroadcasting the Super Bowl in real time to hundreds of thousands of people. Their justification for these actions was that their new streaming website didn't have a term or condition that prohibited such actions. But there's a big problem with that. It is still copyright infringement. It doesn't matter what the terms or conditions were on that particular platform because the NFL is the one who owns the copyright. So unless they got permission from the NFL to restream the game in real time, that is likely copyright infringement with damages in the millions and millions and millions of dollars. The only hope that these streamers have is that the NFL does not pursue legal action because if they do, they could be in real trouble. Oh, it looks like that Saul Goodman too is probably gonna get Aiden Ross paranoid, Kaji. And this following story is some of the wildest story on God, okay? So check this out. I was walking around, okay? And apparently, uh, if you got Twitter, follow me on Twitter. I would love to have you around. I passed by a GameStop store, I went inside, and I found out that uh, Prejoué a uh, pre-order de Red Dead Redemption pour uh, 15 dollars. I dead ass spotted, okay? This picture was hand taken, hand taken. Bruh. I spotted this game for $15, used copy by the way, and then I spot Van Garbage Prejoué, which means used, $59.99. Boom, bucket! I'm out, bro. But however, Microsoft says that Xbox uh, Game Pass creates another option for devs to make money. Now, those of you that are confused, those of you that are stud muffins in the situation, I did cover extensively in the last video. Definitely check that out after this one. But to summarize the situation, back in late 2018, everybody gather on, okay, gather on, gather on. Back in late 2018, Phil Spencer did say that Game Pass does not hurt the game sales, okay? It only helps and people buy more more games once they have Xbox Game Pass, which doesn't make sense, but that's what he said. And listen, hold up, wait a minute. Game Pass is really good for consumers, okay? I'd rather get all the games for $10 a month than paying 100 Canadian dollars for every single one of them, okay? It's good for the consumers, but apparently it's bad for the game publishers. But however, Microsoft released 277 pages of data, which confirmed the fact that it hurts the game publishers. So oh, they kept, and apparently that news broke and everybody's started talking about it, the Sony Pony started doing helicopters with their release, they started going in ganging style, started throwing tomatoes, water balloons all over the, the Xbox homies, and apparently this situation happened all because of Call of Duty, bro. Like, we, we got Call of Duty fans saying that Call of Duty shies up, we don't want to play no more. PlayStation is fighting for Call of Duty, they want this deal to not go through, or at least uh, it, it can go through, but uh, hey man, Call of Duty should not go to Xbox, that's uh, what they're fighting for. PlayStation is saying that y'all bozos be still buying the game you hating on the game but y'all bozo still buying the game microsoft is also fighting to get it and they're saying the same thing like y'all hating on the game but y'all bozos are still buying the game and so both of them are going at each other it's the biggest sony pony and xbox conflict that's going around and, and through this situation this info got leaked that game pass is actually hurting the game sales and the, the publishers are big mad everybody's kind of like hey man, how dare you guys lie to us and now microsoft is responding by saying that but uh it creates another option for the devs to make money <laughs> But in a way, they're not capping because let's be real, it helps uh, the consumers. It also helps the indie game devs. It helps uh, with the games that nobody want to buy. So they put it on the Game Pass and if people play that game, some of the money goes to the, 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 the indie devs and it goes to the smaller companies and the smaller games. But it certainly does hurt the bigger games, right? But however, Marvel came out with a massive news where Kevin Feige talked about the future of Marvel and he revealed the fact that Deadpool 3 is uh, gonna be rated R. Damn. They also already know how and when they will introduce the mutants. The story of Spider-Man 4 is already planned. Wait, what? Oh, Fantastic Four is going to be huge for the MCU and news is coming soon. And let's be real, man. The biggest thing they got going on right now is Spider-Man because after Avengers Endgame, the, the story kind of fell apart. But this is good news regardless, but check this out. At our number two, PlayStation Plus Premium is gonna be getting new trial and that is gonna be God of War Ragnarok for three hours. Can a brother perhaps get a trial for three years? <laughs> 
subscribe click on this video on the screen if you want to know about the next gta game and you want to see more ufo videos or click the video on the left this is about that project blue beam it is some of the darkest video that you will ever see check these videos out guys they don't want you seeing that and i will see you right there